Welcome all and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. This is the third session of the chapter Formation of Earth. In this session, we are going to explore in depth about the shape and size of Earth. In this session, we are going to achieve the following objectives. Acquire knowledge about the exact shape and size of the Earth. Develop understanding about the evidences which prove that the Earth is spherical in shape. Examine the methods used in history to find the size of the Earth. First of all, some misconceptions. Some people used to believe that the Earth is flat like a disk and floats in the sky. Some people believe that Earth is a perfect sphere. Few of us believe that we can see the curvature of Earth's surface even while standing on the ground. The size of the Earth was unknown to everyone in ancient times. All these are myths. Let's explore the facts. Shape of the Earth Will you believe if someone tells you that the Earth is flat? Well, you would have believed it if you were living in history around few thousand years back. During some point in ancient history, people believed that the Earth is flat and the land is surrounded by a big ocean from all the sides. The fact that the earth is spherical in shape was developed by ancient Greek intellects. Initially, this idea was not accepted by people. But with time, many people made attempts to prove that the earth was not flat but spherical in shape. A two-dimensional view of a spherical body is round, so we can use the term round for the shape of the earth. Geniuses like Pythagoras, Aristotle, Varhamira, Copernicus, they all supported the idea that the earth is spherical in shape. But the most successful attempt was made by Ferdinand Magellan in the year 1520 by circumnavigating the earth. We have all been told that the earth is round, but this is not something our day-to-day -day experience can easily confirm. When we see outside, we see buildings, trees, maybe some hills or valleys, but very little evidence is available that can prove that the earth's surface is curved. Even when we are at the shore of a large lake or the ocean, the water near the horizon appears quite flat. However, then do scientists know that the earth is round? Well, there are many evidences to prove that the earth is a spherical body and not a flat disk. Let us examine some of these evidences. The simplest and the most convincing proof that the earth is round is to examine a photo of our planet taken from space or by orbiting it in a space shuttle. There can be no doubt from such evidence that the earth is round or more correctly a sphere. Second evidence is observed during a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes between the sun and the moon causing the moon to enter the earth's shadow. The important point to be noted here is the shape of the earth's shadow as it sweeps over the moon's surface. It is circular, exactly as one would expect if the earth was spherical. Third, another evidence is the sinking ship theory. If we watch a ship departing from the land, 
we will observe that the lower part of the ship will start disappearing first and then the middle part and eventually we will observe that the entire ship disappeared if the earth was flat then we would have been able to see the whole ship at a time fourth evidence we all have friends and relatives living in different parts of the world while interacting with them we surely realize that the time is different at those places when compared with each other we also know that the time of sunrise and sunset is not the same everywhere on the earth if the earth was flat then all the places on the earth would have had the same time fifth evidence if we observe the other celestial body like our moon the sun and other planets they are all spherical in shape thus the earth is also likely to be spherical in shape just like its neighbors sixth evidence the horizon the horizon is the point where the sky and land appear to meet if we observe the sunset from two different points on a mountain we will find that the sun sets early if we see it from the bottom of the mountain while at that time we will still be able to see the sun from the top of the mountain this is only possible if the earth's surface was curved evidence number 7 the right angle triangle if you move in a straight line on the earth for a long enough distance say 1000 kilometers then turn right at 90 degrees walk in the same direction for the same distance then turn again to the right at 90 degree and walk again the same distance you would be surprised to find yourself at the starting point the triangle thus formed will measure 270 degrees which is not possible on a flat surface and you all know that evidence number 8 observation of stars in sky if we move northward towards the pole we will find that new stars and constellations will start appearing in the sky which were not visible when we were away from the poles this suggests that these stars were hidden below the horizon when we were away from the pole this would not have been possible if the earth was flat evidence number 9 as mentioned earlier ferdinand magellan's circumnavigation in 1520 proved that the earth is not a flat disk but a sphere his successful return made people believe that the earth is spherical and not flat evidence number 10 dr wells of england did an experiment to prove that earth is not flat he fixed three poles at equal distance along a canal at a distance of 1 mile apart from each other then he used a telescope to see these poles he observed that the middle pole was higher than the other poles had this experiment done on a flat surface all the three poles would have been would have appeared of the same height he concluded that the earth's surface is curved evidence number 11 it is a well known fact that any freely moving object for example winds is pushed towards its right side in the northern hemisphere and towards its left in the southern hemisphere due to coriolis force this process is known as coriolis effect if the earth was flat this would not be possible 
At present, we are all well aware of the fact that the earth is spherical in shape. In fact, our earth is not a perfect sphere. Rather, the earth is an oblate spheroid, bulging slightly at the equator and flattened slightly at the poles. The diameter of the earth is 12,756 kilometers at the equator, whereas it is 12,712 kilometers at the poles. This is due to the constant spinning of earth which produces centrifugal force. Size of the earth Just like the shape of the earth, the size of the earth was also a puzzle for early people. However, Eratosthenes was able to measure the size of the earth to near perfection in early 3rd century BC. Eratosthenes lived in the city of Alexandria in northern Egypt. It is by the Nile River and the Mediterranean Sea. There was a tall tower in Alexandria. Eratosthenes measured the length of the tower's shadow on 21st June. He used that information plus some geometry to figure out the angle between the sun and found it was to be 7 degrees. There was a town in southern Egypt called Sin. When Eratosthenes observed a pillar in Sin on the same day, he observed that the pillar did not cast any shadow. Eratosthenes had someone measure the distance between Alexandria and Sin, which came to be around 500 miles or 800 kilometers. He used that distance, what he knew about the sun's angle and a bit of geometry to figure out the size of the earth. This is how he calculated the circumference of the earth. The earth is a sphere, so it must have 360 degrees. A circle has 360 degrees. The distance between Sin and Alexandria is 800 kilometers. The difference in angle made by the sun's shadow between Sin and Alexandria is 7 degrees. So if 7 degrees is equal to 800 kilometers, 7 degrees is 1 50th of 360 degrees. The distance between Sin and Alexandria is 1 50th of the earth's surface. So if 7 degrees make 800 kilometers, how much would 360 degrees make? The circumference of the earth will be 360 multiplied by 800 upon 7. That is 800 multiplied by 50. The earth is about 40,000 kilometers. He was very close to the actual size which is 40,080 kilometers. A real achievement indeed. This was all for this session. In the next session we will explore about how our earth, moon and sun are interrelated. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.